one sound warning i do apologize this is going to replace the 58 biscuit project and i gotta get this out i gotta take this stuff out i gotta take this fence down and i gotta yank out that small uh, railroad tie gotta put tires on it and uh, just get her out i'm gonna leave a space right here so that way uh, i can eventually start working on the 64 with tucker and a little bit on the 65 but not too much on the 65 because it won't be a bit until i uh, get this ready for a frame off restoration and also to make room right here to start working on the 55 ford f100 a little bit because i've had that truck since i was 15 and it's been sitting for too long along with my 59 ford over there so i'm going to start jumping around to everything so that way i don't suffer burnout from uh, from working on one car for too long that's how i am uh this car has drawn an extremely huge fan base here on youtube tiktok and even instagram it's just a standard uh, 352 it's not the 390 but it is going to get a 390 in it four barrel vintage air i got the c6 transmission for it over there in the parts car the 66 parts car i don't know if it has a nine inch i think it does um it's pretty much almost identical to the 64 galaxy you know 64 and 64 you know the front windows and back windows work but i don't think the windows cross over from one another i think when wing windows do some stuff crosses over um one way to find out is when i start tearing this apart and just kind of bringing it over and see if it'll even fit in but i know the front windows back windows will work um drive terrain i think will obviously the rear axles um another thing too that i'm going to be paying attention on is uh well finding out more information about these I think the, the drive uh, driving column right here, the whole mechanism for the power steering. Uh, some old timer told me that these will actually work on 58 Fairlanes. And I'm almost getting any kind of mercury, but I but I, and honestly I'm going to find out in certain years. Because when I take stuff apart, um, this will be a joint restoration between this and Cherry Bomb Victoria. So I'll take it off and put it over on the frame and see if it'll actually fit. And also, too, that'll be a good way to help everyone else on finding their own uh, power steering unit. So, because um, I might use that Edsel and I might not. But there's other Mercury's out there that are almost the same way that, uh, that might cross over from one another. So I'll experiment around and help everyone on their 58 cars to uh, find uh, power steering units but uh gosh there's just so much stuff to do and again i do apologize for this video not being uh working on anything it's just been so gosh darn busy i'm just checking for animals i gotta get new hood uh, hinges those are shot um I'm still not sure what was in the bottom right there. So I need to redo this entire dash. Uh, if you really can't find these, I need to paint it, refurbish all of them. It's all going to be original. Uh, the only thing that might be upgraded might be factory AC and possibly power windows. I'm not sure just yet. Just have to find out in time. But, uh, the wing windows how these actually turn out right here these will stay i've seen some people where they just take this all out and put one big window in it's like no nah. rather keep the wing windows in so but yeah i gotta get this out i gotta make room to kind of start working on that and also on my 73 mustang here i got the ignition I am waiting for the oil pan seal to arrive. Um, it's back ordered for the 351 Cleveland, which is kind of shocking. 
so uh yeah just gotta wait patiently for that this uh i need a few floorboards of course a fender back rear fender and uh, a roof i'll scrape it all off here and fix whatever holes that i may find but i'll just kind of skin it once i get around to it just skin it so far fix it and whatever little tiny holes are down here i'll just you know sand and then weld in weld in or lead because you're not going to see us use any body fillers we're going to lead everything the old style Ooh. What is that? that's not okay Whew. had to pick stuff up the other day so other than that um not much is really going on I just got to get the 64 Mercury out. Uh, just got to make some room right here to start working on some things. And uh, let's see. This, I'm going to work on the engine very shortly. It's the 390. See if it's uh, seized or free. Do another video on that. Um... I can't remember if I had anything in the trunk of this. Let's see here. Where is that at? Put the camera down. Now I see. Oh, I got nothing in this. But I see some of the rot has gotten a little worse. Yeah. The hole right there on that side's gotten worse. I had this on a cement block, but it crushed it. I'm going to have to fix it. Because a lot of these I want to switch from car to car once we get a MIG welder. So I'm going to do body work. And, uh, but yeah, fix some rot right there, rot right here. I remember showing this off in March of the Galaxies Part 1. There never was a Part 2. But, uh, this is a very strange factory 65 uh, Galaxy 500 XL because it has a three speed on the tree. And,. This is the original hood for it. I mean, it's the hood trunk lid. But, as you see, it doesn't have the XL uh, trim. I thought about finding an XL uh, trunk lid for it. But, I don't know just yet, in honesty. I just don't know. So, but yeah, I wanted to open this up. See if I had anything in it and also check on the rot. Because I need to get this back on some blocks, but some wooden blocks. I uh, got lightly concerned about it. So, that's the cardboard there, isn't it? Yeah. So, again, I do apologize for this video. It'll be very lacking. I've just been so gosh darn busy moving stuff around and everything, trying to get stuff ready to work on cars in july what's supposed to be may and june but stuff keeps getting pushed back but i'm almost well we're actually we're almost situated well i'm almost situated to start working on mine tucker started working on some of his but not enough for video content just yet because he only has one day off so um where the hell is this seat come out of Is that the 52 Buick? No, no, I better go around. No, my clumsy self, I'll knock that off. <sighs> Sorry if I'm breathing loudly. I'm still battling a sinus and ear infection. It's fun getting sick in the middle of summer, right? Um. Oh, yeah, okay.
came out of this. I'll have to put it back in. But I think the spring shut shot anyways. <sighs> and this. Um, I really want to start working on this for Tucker. Well, well with him. Because I kind of still want to do a joint a restoration with this and the Monterey. Because, uh, I mean, when do you ever see a 64 Galaxy right beside a 64 Mercury? You just truly don't. And both of these are very classic cars, both big blocks. So, but yeah, got to get that out. I got to start getting this ready for a potential uh, roof swap maybe next year. Uh, well, just not an entire rough swap, but just, re you know, scan it and switch it over. Possibly lead, whatever needs to be leaded uh, on the roof. Yeah, we don't body fill. We, we, we're old timers. We, uh, we lead. We don't use none of the body filler gunk. We, we lead. Um, Tucker wants to work on the engine on this, the sleeve. Uh... It's like a 28, 29. I can't, really can't remember. I think it's still 29. Not much information out there about these Willie Knight. This, yeah, these Willie Knight whip pickups. Willie's Knight pickups. Or Willie's Knight whip it pickup. I, I, <laughs> Tucker, Tucker knows it's his, it's his vehicle. <laughs> um, uh, let's see here. Frame swap on that. Going to start working on the frame on uh, 68. Uh, Galaxy XL Fastback uh, Popping out Dents On the creases and the roofs On everything And I'm even going to Pull out the 41 Oldsmobile And start working on it Because it's a complete car And uh, the 73 get, get a load of this That's The Grand Torino Sport Brougham It's registered as a 74 but a lot of clubs are telling me that's a 73 and a half. So, I, I, I don't know. But 73 and a half, 74. It says 74 right on the title. So, it's... People tell me it's a 73 and a half because it has a mixture between 74 and 73 on it. So, I, I, I don't know. I need to write Ford and ask them what that is. If it's uh, an actual true sport brougham or just a Gran Torino brougham. But it... Stuff on the title and everything says it's a sport brougham, so I I don't know. I gotta again write forward and see what they say about it. Um gonna work on Amanda. Uh my brother in law is gonna have some time off, I think, in the next three weeks. Or at least try to. He has to find out first on the weekend to come out, just kinda look at the at the engine. And uh yeah, still waiting for the oil pan uh, cork seal to arrive for the cleveland and that so but the main project for this week and uh, well, this coming week is to get the 64 mercury monterey out so uh yeah that's pretty much about it for right now other things i want to say but i really can't announce them just yet because uh tucker is also part of that so uh so again i do apologize for this video to be kind of lackluster more of a blog um just been so gosh darn busy but i'm getting everything thought that was an animal it's just a piece of plastic blowing in there it hurts uh, scuttling around and i got nervous but getting stuff ready to be worked on so i'll put out a i'll see i'll keep putting out a video on wednesdays it just uh things are just kind of slowed up a little while i'm organizing stuff around and I don't think people would, would like me just moving a car around and everything and you know in that kind of regard but uh, oh another thing too I don't see too many other people doing this we're gonna start documenting uh, the cars from start to finish along with how they're made uh, how they're put together before and after um, pretty much a digital video doc, uh, library here on our car channel uh, for people to come back to reference or, you know in the future uh, just future stuff while we continue on you know with the business adventures and and restoring the our entire car hoard out here 
so it's just one thing at a time but yeah we're going to be documenting stuff more and people are interested in uh, mercury monterey marauder documentation and re restoration from start to finish along well with everything really but that's getting a huge following the grand torino sport brougham has a huge following it just uh, just have to get to them and again i can't apologize enough for this video it's just lackluster it's just more of a blog uh, can't say it so, you know enough just been so gosh darn busy getting stuff ready to start pumping out videos so I, I guess it's just pretty much the calm before the storm as they say when things start coming out more and I think we might have located a decent brand of English wheel but we're not quite sure yet we're still watching out for uh, you know we're doing research for English wheels and stuff like that so uh, that's pretty much about everything on the video there's a lot of stuff to talk about but this video power will be an hour long and i don't think people would appreciate that so uh so that's pretty much everything that's going on um hopefully in the next couple weeks things will pick up now i'll try to pump out at least maybe three or four videos a week i can't promise that maybe three videos per week and uh, just kind of go from there in honesty so uh so yeah it's just one thing at a time so please take in consideration of liking sharing commenting and subscribing to us we're at 1303 subscribers thank you very much for the support that you've shown us all this time uh this sinus infection is something else it still it's still knocking me on uh, flat on my rear uh but still doing stuff out here so it's kind of a mixed match of everything <laughs> So I'll let you all go and then this video there because again, there's a lot of stuff to talk about out here, but I want to leave uh, action uh, more than just talking about it because you know, you'll see a lot of that very shortly. Hopefully in the next couple weeks and things will pick up a heck of a lot more because this week I got to get the parts cars positioned and ready for uh, disma full dismantling finally. So... <sighs> I just want to talk about a lot of stuff, but I want to leave surprises there. So, again, sorry for the lackluster content in this video, other than just being a blog. So, I always want to put more action in everything. So, so enough gabbing. I'll end this video there before I gab even more. <laughs> so, y'all have a good now. Take care and stay safe. See you later, and thanks again for support.